Hey everybody, Thomas Hazlitt here from Linux Academy and we are wrapping up AWS reInvent 2018. Now we are here on the show floor, they're tearing everything up, we we're about to get kicked out, but we want to do a quick recap video of the final announcements that were released today. So joining me to, to, to sum everything up are our AWS training architects. Hey guys, how you doing? And joining us again is Adrian Cantrell. Hello everyone. And it's been a crazy week. I know oh, I'm yeah. exhausted. Oh, yeah. My Absolutely. feet are killing me. Yep. Definitely. And I know we all want to go home and relax a little bit. Yep. But before we do that, all what, the what important was, bits of the day. Yeah, what was really announced today that uh, you know, we can kind of close out, reinvent with, and what was some cool stuff? Like, what do you think, Tia? Well, I got, like I said, first off, I need a couple clouds for my feet because I gotta, gotta get myself together. Oh. But the thing that, Im that impressed me the most today was the well-architected framework. They actually are releasing a tool that allows you to check your workload against the well-architected framework. Okay. Right, yeah. and so I mean, yeah, so the well-architected framework, that's, I mean, that's a set of best practices for building uh, and, and maintaining application and infrastructure on AWS. So now they have a, uh, a tool. Cool that allows you to make sure your workload meets those best practices. Oh, wow, okay, that's actually yeah. really cool. Yeah, awesome. All right, I didn't actually, I hadn't heard about that at all. That's, I like that one. <clears throat> and we've got two pretty large Lambda feature extensions. So we've got Lambda Layers. And Lambda layers allow you to split a function up into multiple layers, so you can use shared code bases. You can share those layers between accounts or between or to members of the public or in the same account, just like you can um, AMIs. Um, and they can also be used to allow uh, custom runtimes. Hmm. So they now produce the Lambda Runtime API, and that's basically an executable called Bootstrap that can move, uh, sort of link between the Lambda, the Lambda runtime um, environment and any custom runtime that you want to use. So it opens up um, developers to be able to use any runtime that they sort of develop in a custom way or any of the existing languages to be able to use inside Lambda. So that's, that's, that's basically opening up Lambda for any language or any interpreted language that's available at the moment or in the future. So that's really exciting. Yeah. Exciting. What do you think of it? Is that exciting to you? Awesome. Is that exciting? Awesome. I don't know, it sounds horribly best, best, boring to me. Best feature but of the day. Best, best feature, feature of the day? day. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Well, architect the framework was pretty cool. Too. Uh, yeah. yeah, what else? I mean, I'm, I'm really curious. I mean, I'm just reading through the list here. I mean, we just have these feeds of all these announcements that come out. Um, I know AWS supports Ruby now. Um, you have RDS on, for on premise now. Yep, yeah. yeah, managed, uh, introducing yeah, Amazon managed streaming for uh, Kafka. Yeah. It, yeah, that's really cool as well. Uh, there was a lot of a smaller sort of developer focused stuff that was released. So Werner spent quite a lot of time um, drumming up sort of developer support, sort of talking about successes and there's yeah. a lot of smaller features. And their usefulness, I guess, will sort of be revealed over time. So it's, it's quite hard to see how they'll be used at the moment, but there's a lot of small features. Absolutely, and yeah. what, did, what would you guys feel was kind of maybe some of the major themes for this particular reInvent? So from my perspective, it was, it was all about fixing the emissions that are in AWS, or stuff, stuff that's been outstanding for several years, yeah. It was, yeah. It was basically about bringing, fixing the bugs, so. Yeah, I was really impressed with a lot of the security type features that have been added recently. I talked some uh, the other day about S3 and the new features for that, and they also introduced a new security hub for actually yeah. checking for compliance against your across yeah. AWS accounts. You know, at least what I saw was a lot, really a lot of security and a lot of machine learning, AI stuff, and of course there was the new machine learning yeah. exam, a beta exam put out by AWS, yeah. so um, yeah. But either way, we're going to wrap it up here. We are going to go out, we're going to have some dinner, we're going to go home and uh, relax, take a few days off, but we're going to get right back to bringing you guys all of the best courses and content for AWS, and stay tuned to linuxacademy.com and all of our social media for more updates that we're going to be posting for yet to come announcements and things that we haven't covered yet. So for all of us here at Linux Academy, thank you for joining us at reInvent, and we will see you guys all later.